Hi there. This clip is looking um, at the debate around whether um, sociology can be a science from the realist perspective that we have looked at briefly before in the previous lecture. In this case, I'm looking at sociology versus meteorology, which is a study of the weather. So, um, realists argue that there are some similarities between sociology and some types of science. Closed system sciences are where the researcher can control all of the variables in an experiment, such as chemistry. This is not like sociology, as, as I keep saying, humans are not rocks. We are different. We respond to things differently depending on the day, depending on what's happened to us in the previous days, weeks, months, years, uh, the amount of sleep we've had, our ethnicity, our gender, our class, we are all very, very different human beings. So what might be the same for one human being might be different from another, which means it's almost impossible to control variables in sociological research. So therefore, we cannot be, sociology cannot be a science like a closed system science. However, realists point to open system sciences, like meteorology and some of the biologies, where there are many variables, uh, too many variables for every theoretical assertion in open sciences to be 100% true, which is a bit more like sociology. We can make predictions uh, about patterns of human behaviour uh, on general trends, but we can't ever say every single working class boy will fail at school, because that's not the case. What we can do is make predictions about patterns of humans' behaviour and say working class boys might be more likely to fail at school. Um, or, uh, the example I've said here is about patterns in crime. So if we go through an economic recession, I predict that um, there'll be an increase in property crime. Okay, like Those sorts of correlations we might be able to look at. Um, a good example, I think, of an open system science is the weather, okay, uh, meteorology. Um, so we generally believe what the weatherman or woman tells us, even when it goes completely wrong. Um, and some of you might be aware of the hurricane of uh, 1987 in the UK, when unfortunately the poor weatherman Michael Fisher, who's on this, uh, the, the picture here, he said that we wouldn't be getting a hurricane, and we did get a really bad hurricane, and 22 people actually killed across England, uh, sorry, Britain and France. Um, despite that, we still routinely check the weather, we believe the weather, and even when they get it wrong, we still accept that the weather still has some usefulness in giving us general predictions about what the next day weather might be like. So if we can accept that of meteorology, then surely we can accept sociological predictions and therefore say that sociology is, in that sense, um, a science. We can make general predictions about patterns of human behaviour, which is what Durkheim strove to do, um, in which case um, we are useful okay, in, in a scientific way. So, yeah, realists would say sociology can be a science, but only like the open system sciences. Um, and they would generally argue that sociology should strive for the scientific methodology in order to find sort of these sort of big social patterns because you'd need sort of representative and reliable data. Thank you.